Hi everyone. Last week, I hope you all enjoyed Getting in Bed with Kristen, episode number one, where Allison Weiss joined me. Next week, I'm gonna do them every other week, and next week I'm going to be in bed with my wife. So things are nice and legal, uh, approved by all sanctioned government and religious, I don't know what I'm talking about. But next week I'm gonna get in bed with Jenny and we're gonna talk about some awesome stuff. But this week, I want to get to your questions and give you some advice. Austin says, I saw the post recently about your coming to understand your sexuality more as a bisexual person than as a lesbian. Could you talk to me more about that process and what you've discovered? So what Austin is referring to is an advice post that I answered a couple of weeks ago, and I'll put the link down below if you want to read that, where someone asked me, do you think it's okay if I say I'm gay, even though I really maybe feel more bisexual? And for me, it opened up Pandora's box, so to speak, of personal experience because I will tell you a little bit about how I came to understand my own identity. When I came out to my parents, I was 17. It was Thanksgiving dinner. And when I did, I came out as bisexual. I felt at the time that I was attracted to women, but I also felt like I was attracted to men. It was 1998. So really my understanding of gender at that point was on a binary. I had not yet um, even stepped a foot into understanding non-binary identities. My mom, who was struggling with my identity, kept holding on to this word, bisexual, as a way to say, but that means you could be with a man. That means you might be with a man. And so every time we would have a conversation, she would say, but I just pray every night that you'll be with a man. Every time I would call her on the phone, she would say, have you met any nice guys? And it was driving me really up a wall and back down again. I felt like my identity wasn't being respected. And I also felt like she was going to hold on to this forever. So a year-ish later, after coming out as bisexual, I came out again as a lesbian. And I swear to you, I did it mostly just to make my mom stop hoping and praying that I would meet and fall in love with a man. Then that word kind of became a piece of my identity. I was a lesbian. I started dating women and I exclusively dated women for ever, really, after coming out um, as bisexual. I never was in a relationship with a man. That didn't mean I didn't have feelings for them or attractions to them, but I wasn't in relationships with them. So by all accounts, I was lesbian. I watched the L word. I did all the things that all the lesbians did. All my friends were lesbians. I went to lesbian bars and that was that. But I always had this thing in the back of my mind saying, uh, what happens if you do fall in love with a guy? What happens if you do start dating a guy? How how are you going to explain this to your parents? How are you going to explain it to your friends? It wasn't just my parents, right? It was sort of everyone around me would have been horrified or really excited in a way that didn't make me happy if I were to have not been dating a woman. So lesbian became who I was and I always felt weird about the word. I felt like it wasn't quite me, but it just felt like the more time passed, the more that word attached to me. And then years later, I went to graduate school and I went for women's studies, gender studies, queer studies. The department has gone through many names. The reason that it was so important to me and my identity was that I learned about the term queer. Queer to me was a word that opened up the possibilities of everything. When I told people that I was queer, they didn't even know what I meant. So they had to ask me more about what that meant. And to me, gave me a larger understanding of my sexuality and told people that I'm not saying I'm this thing that you think you know what it is because everyone thinks they know what a lesbian is. They're all wrong because we all have different understandings of that word. But when you say I'm a lesbian, people say, mm -hmm, sure, I know what you are. But when you say you're queer, most people, almost all people say, oh, that can mean a lot of things. Like you as a person get to be open to all of these possibilities of what that might mean about your sexuality, what that might mean about your gender identity. And I loved that. So that was the word that I took on and I was so excited about it, right? And that was, that was I thought, the end of my journey with words. However, I started learning more about um, but what's funny is I started learning about bisexual erasure, even though I had been through it myself personally. I started learning about it from other people and by reading articles and essays and um, reading statistics. And the Human Rights Campaign did this big study on bisexual identities and it was really eye-opening to me how erased bisexual people are, how pushed out from both straight and queer communities bisexual people have historically and have historically been in 
and still are. It made me think, why did I abandon that term? And what would it do if I used that term again? Bisexual to me now means something more than it even meant to me in 1998. It means uh, that I can be attracted to any and all genders. And I believe that to be true. I'm married. I'm married to my wife who identifies as a woman, but I know that I could have and, and have attractions to people of all genders. So I started using the term bisexual again. I, I chose that word and I choose to use it. I choose to talk about it in this video for more political reasons than anything else, for more um, activist reasons than, than anything else. I want the world to know that I am bisexual and I'm married to a woman and that doesn't make me any less bisexual. I want people to understand that there are so many of us who identify as bisexual and that that's an important identity to recognize. I want to encourage people who might be watching this video or people who may have read that post to say, oh, Kristen's bisexual, so maybe I can be that too. Maybe that's okay for me to take on that identity because I didn't feel that way in 1998. Um, bisexual was not a thing that seemed to make anyone understand anything. It just made everyone mad or confused or what have you. In 1998, that anger and confusion made me step away from it. And in 2016, that anger and confusion makes me step towards it. That is a little bit about my journey with my own identity. and. I guess it's not like straight advice. Well, certainly not straight advice, but I hope that it helps a lot of you because so many of the questions that come in to Everyone is Gay, both through the YouTube channel and through the website, are rooted in this, what do I call myself? I don't know how to put a word to me. And I think that my own journey and the journeys that so many of us go on underline the fact that you don't have to pick a word if you don't want to pick a word and your word might change and that's okay and I think we all need to give ourselves space and room both for our personal selves to journey. Maybe today you feel like a lesbian and maybe in two years you're like that is actually not how I feel anymore and that's okay and that we give ourselves space as uh, other individuals in this community that we don't say, I thought you were gay, why are you flirting with that guy? I think we all need to give ourselves that space and give others that space. I'm a person, so I evolve. I'm a person, so I change. And we all have that. We all have that reality and we should all allow it to happen for ourselves and for other people. So I love answering your questions. It is my favorite, favorite thing. Let me know what you wanna know. What are you going through? What do you need help on? I will um, do my best to at least answer in the comments by typing. I will certainly pick questions from there to answer in video form like we did here today. I will see you next week with Getting in Bed with Kristen featuring uh, her wife, Jenny Owen Youngs. Have a great day, a great week, a great month, etc. Bye.